when it comes to measuring temperature, what we usually do is take our smartphones and Google it. Well, that's fine if you want to measure temperature of places where you can't be. But what about your own house? In this video, I'll show you how to make a temperature sensor that updates data to your smartphone through Wi-Fi. Hey, what's up guys? Summer is almost about to end and I'm back from vacation. So I decided to make this video after a long time. Follow me on Instagram to get to know what other projects I'm working on. So without further ado, let's get into the project. So all you need for this project are an ESP8266 board. I'm using a Node MCU. A DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. A 10K resistor and an OLED display. Now I'm going to place all the components on a breadboard and then wire it according to the schematics. After I finished wiring, I plugged in the USB cable to the node MCU and then to the computer. Now on your computer, open the Arduino code, the link is in the description box below. Now click on tools and then choose your board as node MCU version 1. And then click on your port and then choose the correct port. Once that done, click on upload to upload the sketch. If you did everything correctly, the OLED should turn on showing the temperature and the humidity. Now go back to your computer and then open the serial monitor. It should show up something like this that it connected to Wi-Fi and the Blink server. Now on your smartphone, open Play Store and then search for Blink IoT. It's a free application which I'm going to be using for this project. I'm making this video as an introduction for this app as I'll be using it for my future videos. Once the app was downloaded, I opened it and then created a new account by entering my email ID and password. And then click on New Project and I chose the board as node MCU. And then I named the project weather station. And as soon as I did that, an authentication token was sent to my email. From the widget box, I took the labeled value widget and named it temperature. Then I selected the virtual pin as V6. Then I entered the maximum value as 50 degrees Celsius. You can also change it to Fahrenheit in the Arduino code in the description below. As soon as I did that, I added another labeled value widget for humidity and did the same, except to change the virtual pin to V5 and then set the maximum to 100%. Now go back to your Node MCU and make sure it's up and running. So now click on the play button and you should get the humidity and temperature readings. So now I'm going to add a graph to show the data. And this is how my graph looks. The Blink app is really great for almost all IoT projects as it's free. But there's a limitation of the number of widgets you can add. If you want to add more, then you have to purchase energy. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel.